Welcome back to this week's new video guys. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're gonna talk about ear training. If you are into music production and audio engineering, investing your time in ear training will definitely change the way you make music and you work with audio. So make sure you watch this video till the end and without wasting any time, let's dive into it. When it comes to music production and audio engineering, your ears are the most important tool which you use all the time. So training your ears will definitely change the way you produce music and work with audio. Every musician and artist practice their skills regularly to get good at it. A violinist doesn't get to a virtuoso level instantly. It takes years and years of experience to get to a virtuoso level. In the same way, we as music producers and audio engineers need to train our ears so that we can use our ears effectively in our craft. Now there are two types of ear training which we are going to discuss in this video. One is focused on the music side of ear training and the second is focused on the audio engineering side of ear training. Both are important for us as music producers and audio engineers. So first let's talk about the music side of ear training. The music ear training will help you in identifying different kinds of intervals, chords, melodies, rhythms, scales and lot more musical elements just by hearing. And most importantly, you'll be able to identify your favorite songs by your favorite artist and use those ideas in your music. Now the other type of ear training is based on the audio engineering side. So if you master this type of ear training, you'll be able to identify different kinds of frequencies, compression ratios, stereo width, volume levels, and lot more audio engineering related elements. If you master the ear training based on audio engineering, you'll be able to mix and master your songs much effectively and your final songs will sound much better and much pro sounding. Now you may ask how can I practice the ear training? Now one of the way to practice ear training is by practicing it yourself. For example, if you want to practice the music ear training, you can sit on a piano or any instrument and then practice each intervals regularly so that you can identify each intervals just by hearing it and also you can practice different scales and all other elements of music so that you can identify them just by hearing it. Now this takes a lot of practice and this doesn't happen overnight. You need lots of practice to identify each intervals and each scale just by hearing it. In the same way you can practice the other type of ear training by just practicing with an equalizer in your digital audio workstation by practicing with different kinds of frequencies, uh, different panning, different stereo width, different volume levels and a lot of more different elements. Now keep in mind this also needs a lot of practice. So make sure you practice a lot. It takes a lot of time. You need to practice regularly to get to a pro level. Now the other and most effective way of learning is using ear training websites and applications. I link some of the websites and applications in the description below so make sure you check those out in the description. But two of the main websites which I'm going to focus in this video are Tone Radar and Sound Gym. These are the websites which I personally use that's why I'm recommending to you. Tone Radar will help you in practicing your music ear training and Sound Gym will help you in practicing your audio engineering ear training. Tone Radar provides a lot of exercises related to music such as intervals, scales, chords, melodies, rhythms and lot other music elements. These exercises will definitely help you a lot in developing your ears for music and the best part is it's absolutely free. So make sure you check out Tone Radar for your music ear training. Now the second website is Sound Gym that will help in developing our ears for audio engineering. Just like Tone Radar is focused on music ear training, Sound Gym is focused on audio engineering side of ear training. Sound Gym has lot of exercises that will help you in developing your ears in identifying frequencies, compression ratios, stereo width, loudness and lot more other elements. So if you want to develop your ears for the audio engineering side, make sure you check out Sound Gym. Sound Gym is a subscription based service but it's worth it if you want to get into this industry. It will really help you in developing your ears. So those were the two websites which I use regularly for my ear training. Now let me tell you this, I'm not a pro in ear training. 
I am also practicing ear training with these resources from about past one year. I am sharing these resources and knowledge with you guys because I find it really helpful for my growth and development. And just because I have seen growth in my skills and my development, that's why I am sharing these tips with you guys. So that you can apply these things in your skill development and your personal development journey. I highly recommend that you practice these ear training exercises at least 10 to 15 minutes daily. If you practice this daily, you'll see a phenomenal difference in your hearing skills. Great producers and audio engineers have a great hearing skill. That's why they can produce and engineer phenomenal records. So if you want to up your game in your audio engineering and music production journey, make sure you invest your time in ear training. I've also added some informative resources in the card section of this video. So make sure you check those out and learn more from it. That's all for today's video guys. I really hope you got some value out of this video. If you think you got some value out of this video, make sure you press the like button and make sure you subscribe for more future videos from this channel. I'll see you around in the next video.